Welcome back. It is Friday, so we say a happy Friday to our friend Mike Apple. I don't know why I was clapping, but let's say good morning. How are you? <laughs> Fine, thank you. How are you? Weird mood. Happy Friday. It's, it, Friday brings out the weird in everyone, I think, in the best possible way. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk a little bit about the numbers. <laughs> let's begin there. Let's get to the business. Yeah, well, we're actually starting with some um, cautionary and concerning news out of Hong Kong this morning, Melanie, where there are reports that later this evening there are going to be protests in the streets after uh, China. Uh, the uh, People's Congress uh, started deliberations today in Beijing and enacted a new law that they're uh, proposing to further take control of Hong Kong, a uh, security law. Uh, that they're saying will prevent against terrorism and secession and foreign interference. Now, in Hong Kong, they see this as China looking to extend its grip and control. And you might recall last year, there were protests on a daily basis, which really shut Hong Kong down for quite a time. It's a, a major financial center, fourth largest in the world. So with that, the markets this morning are showing quite a bit of uh, worry because the U.S. could be in the mix here because there's already tensions there between Washington and Beijing. And so, net result, Hong Kong's market down 5.5% today, and the uh, U.S. markets are pointing uh, to the downside. It's also a three-day weekend coming up in the States, so uh, there will be caution ahead of that as well because of the unknown about what will happen next in the COVID-19 pandemic and any economic concerns. Uh, let's talk about what we do know when it comes to the workplace. A lot of companies are shifting when it means coming in person or uh, doing that digital desk, right? So Shopify, yep. we know that they, you know, Shopify is, as you say, digital by default, right? Yeah. And, they're, and they're, this is a cutting edge company. It's been in the headlines because it's it's been, it's Canada's most valuable company actually right now because its share price has actually absolutely surged. It's doing e-commerce software. It's offering now banking services. They announced that this week and yesterday saying they're keeping their offices closed until 2021 and then will allow employees for the most part to work from home, continue to do that. They'll keep recruitment centers in uh, major hubs, including uh, here in the GTA, they're, they're, they're building a new office, in fact, in the downtown core. So we'll see if there's any type of a change of plans there. They're looking to be, uh, you know, a, a tech name that is always sort of forward looking. Uh, Twitter's doing the same thing, allowing employees to, to work from home. Uh, it's, 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 it is the new normal. We, we've seen it works. You know, prior to all of this, it's like, oh, you're working from home. Well, good for you. But you know, nobody else can do that. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm working from home right now, right? So it. it's it's one of these things that it's going to change the dynamic of the office culture. That's going to be the thing in real estate and how much, you know, companies need for office space. Do they need that space? Yes. That's um, right. Let's talk about this. A lot of people, the weather, people want to get outside, whether mm -hmm. it be on a motorcycle, in an RV. By the way, I'm starting to quote RV because I we're looking to head, head to the summer and I've never been that RV type person, but now I'm thinking <laughs> this is maybe the way to go. Uh, but a lot of people are, the, are thinking the exact same thing. Uh, having a recreational vehicle was mm -hmm. great. I, I speak from experience, and 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 it's and it's true. And by the way, you'll start with a pop trailer, and the next thing you know, you'll be on a hard cider. But I digress. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's looking at, at a way. How do you get outside? Keeps a uh, physical distance, that sort of thing. So it's RVs, hot sellers right now, uh, motorcycles. It's it's sort of a, a a sport you can just do on your own, right? So. Harley Davidson restarting its production facilities as of next Tuesday, right after the Memorial Day weekend. They're seeing big sales, as are all of the motorcycle brands. Uh, the CEO of Harley Davidson, he's been buying stock in the company, thinks it's going to be, uh, you know, having a big uptrend here. Sea Dews, uh, Bombardier built Sea Dews. Uh, you know, these, these are all things that people are going to be looking to do this summer. How do you actually get outside, but at the same time stay away from people, yeah. or at least stay close to people you're with all the time anyway. There it is. Um, yep. Finally, I want to get one thing to you. So we've got a three-day weekend, which you explained in the U.S., of mm -hmm. course. Um, so that would typically mean some big sales. Uh, what's it going to mean <laughs> know, this right? time? <laughs> yeah. Well, every U.S. holiday, you see these big ads, 40 50% off, go mm -hmm. shopping. That was sort of the previous trend. The old Don't think that's going to be the case this, this time, you know? It, it's it's Because, first of all, retailers are trying to make some money because they've mm -hmm. lost so much during the pandemic shutdown. At the same time, you know, get uh, people back into stores. I don't know if they're going to necessarily be offering up some of the sales. HBC is uh, reopening its stores today. Yes. You know, for, for in-store clientele. 
So again, slowly but surely, again, everybody's staying away from each other. That's going <laughs> to be the thing. Or forever. Who knows, Mike? Yeah. All right, have a great <laughs> weekend. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Let's bring in our Stephanie Henry uh, 